This is turn Are you set in concrete here? In the city. How you doing? <laughs> we don't have a microphone, so... Oh, we'll have some candidates running for... I'm a super, I'm a super right. member. Alright, that's good enough. He's <laughs> uh, a semi-public official right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, okay, we have a uh, member of our uh, planning and zoning board. Uh, but anyway, the residents of City of Appalachia Coast greatly appreciate uh, all of y'all's continued support. On behalf of the Appalachia Coast Board of City Commissioners, staff, and our engineering firm, Basket and Donovan, welcome. Today is a beautiful day, but not just because of the great weather, but because we have come together to celebrate the completion of this beautiful structure behind me. It has taken many hours of hard work by a dedicated team to get here, but as you can see today, it was well worth it. This is truly a first class fishing pier for the city of Apalachicola. We all have a lot to be proud of and thankful for. As all of you well know, the 2000 storm season was not kind to the coastal communities bordering the Gulf of Mexico. On July the 10th of that year, the historic storm surge from Hurricane Dennis slammed into our coastline and left our docks and fish. Jamelta, the city's grant writer, working with FEMA representative Julie Prevost, George Waters, and Larry Wells to secure funding to repair this and other piers throughout our community. Once staff secured the funding, the design and bid team of Liz Kelsey, Ken Hatcher, and Dave Hensfield from the city's engineering firm designed the repairs for the piers and let bids for its construction. The construction company Marine Contracting Group out of Port de Garde, Florida was awarded the construction com contract, and many thanks go to Brian Modolo, the company's owner, J.R. Elmer, the project manager, and Paul Witt, local superintendent, for their love, for their show of love to the Apalachicola community by taking special care in the repair of this beautiful structure. The cost to repair Lafayette Pier totaled $894,000, which included the repairs of 640 feet of pier, a 30 by foot deck, and a 15 by 30 foot pavilion. And I personally thank all involved for their contributions towards the success of this project. And at this time, Dave Hensfield will give us a summary of the, uh, of the project. Thank you, Mayor. There's just a couple things that, that I'd like to touch on. Um, it, when we came down here, the original pier had floated up, and FEMA was looking at it and saying, we don't want to have this happen again, so if you design something, make sure it doesn't have a repetitive loss. And we hope we've done that. We've done several things toward that end. You can see the uh, blowout panels in the middle. We elevated the structure. We worked with DEP to put concrete piles in instead of treated wood that uh, leaches into the water. Um, the beams are attached to the stringers. And if you get out there at the very end, you'll see a lot of stainless steel plates holding that whole thing together. It's pretty, pretty stout. I hope uh, that it stands up to any wind that we have, either this week or next. <laughs> um, I think the other thing that we noticed is the beauty of the site, and it's just gorgeous. Yes. And you got to give hands down appreciation to the contractor. He built this top down. He, he looked at it for about a week and said, we can build this top down. He put his crane on the old piles with some uh, blocking, walked all the way out there, drove the new piles, and pulled the old ones up. Never touched the grasses. Wow. Never hey. touched them. Here, here. Here, here. Paul Witt, is, uh, he's got the poodle. He stayed with this job the whole time, and, and he's done a fantastic job. Uh, you can't put a project together without having a team, and the contractor and the city and FEMA and DEP and Baskerville all worked together to bring this thing to uh, what you see now. But, but Paul was with it all the way, and he called me up and said, I think I can do this better. What do you think about this? And he was right, and there's a lot of better in this pier. So... That's uh, the design portion of it. Mayor, thank you much. All righty. Well, at this time, we're going to cut the ribbon. We're not going to hold you in the sun. Uh, and I ask that uh, representatives from BDI, uh, anybody from FEMA and the contractor, 
and city staff join us as we uh, <laughs> do the honors. Closing, the gut repair and accessibility of our network of public fishing piers helped define Apalachicola, and it makes our city a wonderful place to live and a great place to visit. Because of this, I'd like to give special recognition and thanks to the entire Apalachicola community for having patience, understanding, and trust in their local elected officials to restore the city's network of fishing piers to their pre-hurricane condition. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. 